crazy family. So today's video, <laughs> so we had actually filmed this assumption video like, I don't even know, before the girls room makeover and before all the Christmas decorations, all of that. And then I had forgotten about it because of all that. And some of the stuff I was like, eh, it was like so casually filmed. Like usually I don't, like when we do Q and A's or assumptions or that kind of thing, no one knows what they are. A lot of times Mark will print them off and then we get just a surprise with you guys and you guys get the real answers. They're like, they're not rehearsed or like, I don't know, that kind of thing. This video was definitely that. And a few of the things that were said like, like, do I wear the pants in the relationship? Are new kids twins? Like, all of these assumptions. Like, we answer all of this. <laughs> Guess you're gonna hear the real answers in just a few minutes. So, before we go there, that video is very, like, it just is what it is. My house was messy. But anyway, <laughs> did you know that today is National Christmas Card Day? Woo! So, woo! A huge Woo! reminder if you've not done your Christmas cards to do Woo! them now because it's National Christmas Card Day. You, you better get that done. And I have the coolest thing for you. So I want to say a huge thank you to Living Print for sponsoring this video. But look what Erin made me. Aww. Look at this. This was the one time that we've ever been camping together. <laughs> We're not really a camping family. But anyway. <laughs> The thing is so, these are like the coolest things ever. So it's a postcard that goes out so you can do your Christmas pictures or whatever you want, just send a postcard to somebody. And then, let me clear my address. On the back, there's a QR code in your message. And then all you do is you scan that QR code. Look how cute this is. It literally made me cry when Aaron sent this to me. This is what he said. You're the best wife I could ever dreamed of, but you are most amazing. My, my most amazing reality. Aww. So you scan the QR code. So when you scan it, you go to this. It literally pulls up your postcard, but then you can customize it and listen. Aww. And then it goes through all the different pictures. And then it goes, or you can make it into a, or you can make it into a video, you can do your pictures. So this is the cutest Christmas cards I've ever seen. I know this is definitely the ones that I'm ordering this year because how cute is that to get a card and then get a custom song or video to all of your friends and family. So definitely check out the link in the description box down below to order your living print. They're the funnest and cutest thing ever. Or if you just wanna lift somebody up, just these, I was thinking we might start sending these as like fan, like when we get fan mail. I would love to send like customized cards or things back. So I love the awesome. idea of this. So was it easy to use? How did you like it? So Living Print is so easy to use guys. They have a really easy app. You download it real quick and then you start. You can start pulling pictures, you can pull videos, you can pull different things from your phone and put it into your postcard. Then they send the postcard, then they load it, everything. But the process of actually setting it up was so easy. Their editor is amazing to use. They have a ton of free songs that you can use and include with your postcard. It was great. I love too that they send it out for you because I know Okay, a couple years ago, I, I made a bunch of Christmas cards and then I never mailed them out because I just got too busy. So they mail them out for you, which is absolutely amazing. And it was super fast shipping, guys. It was amazing. Yeah, we got it really quick. Now back on to these crazy assumptions. And again, this was filmed a while ago. But here we go. Hi, Keep It Crazy family. We are doing some rapid fire assumptions today, so let's just get into the video. First assumption, I assume people told Aaron and Crystal they wouldn't last in high school. That assumption is correct. That is true. That's so true. The amount of people that told us that. There's like, a lot of them. There's a lot of them. There is a lot. Hey, your mom was one of them. She yes. didn't think we would last. I love your mom. One of his best friends, like straight <laughs> out, was like, no way. Yeah. Okay, and then, okay, this one's kind of funny. They assume Crystal wears the pants in the relationship. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. You think it's true? I'd say that's 51% true. It is. Fib oh, Holly said it is in the background. I don't feel, I feel like we're very 50-50 actually. Okay, 51, 51. 40. Yeah, there you go. Oh, like 1%. No, I feel you like know what? for the that's most okay. part. I'm comfortable in my manhood. 
Sometimes decisions need to be made. <laughs> it's so bad. Crystal makes good decisions. So what's but wrong with that? But we make most. We actually make all decisions together, like big Absolutely. decisions and all that. So I don't Absolutely. know what you mean by wearing the pants in the relationship. I think I'm just more spontaneous, and that he like tries to ground me. She wears them, but I look better in them. He does look better in them. Max, do you yeah. think? Dad or I wear the pants in the relationship? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of 50 50, I feel. You feel like it's 50 50? Yeah. I, I See, don't know. Max thinks it's 50 50. It's not 51 49. <laughs> actually, I feel like most days, like. Actually, okay, wait, wait, wait. I know, I know. I know exactly how to answer this one. I feel like we both have our passions with things. Yes. I have things that I'm passionate about, and then Aaron will be like, yeah, okay, whatever you want with that. But then Aaron has his things that he's passionate about, and then he's like, this is what we're making and choosing to do. I agree with that, actually. And then That's... we have like our big decisions that we make together. Yes. So I think it depends on the situation. Agreed. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Now I can take down the cue cards in the background. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> There's no cue cards, guys. There's none. <laughs> oh. oh, Max, hide it. <laughs> All right, we're coming at Hallie. Uh, Hallie is an empath and fills everyone's energy. She's there for everyone no matter what. True. That is so true. Facts. Those are facts. Okay, yeah. one other one for you. Um, that everyone goes to bed late. Very late. Um, most of us do go to bed pretty late, if you consider 11 o'clock late. I was like, it depends on if it's a school night or the weekend. That Max doesn't want to date. I do. <laughs> My DMs are open. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have time for that. Actually, he probably does. He does. I probably do. Um, they assume... Let me go back over to Hallie. We're going all around the house today. Oh, uh, okay. There's <laughs> Hallie is not good at sports. Actually, no, she throws diamonds. That's what they assume. Is that true or not true? I feel like these cabinets are always open behind me. Okay, hold on. We assume the cabinet doors are always open. I am very good at sports. She actually is really good at sports. What's like your favorite sport? Basketball, she actually beat I'm everyone in the little... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that assumption is wrong. False. Um, I, I'm good at sports. I earned the ball trophy back in the day. Oh, yeah. Okay, coming to you, Lucas. Oh. They assume that you know how to party. No. <laughs> Not at all. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Not You're the I... life of the party whenever we have parties. <laughs> okay. You do bring the fun. Maybe a little bit. I assume you didn't expect to have this big of a family. It just kind of fell into place. True. Yeah, true. That's true. I originally wanted two kids. She wanted four kids, so we multiplied. Uh, <laughs> we exponentials? Are, we were never good at math. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah gets a lot of guys. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> that Hannah and Hallie are popular at school. No. <laughs> no. We there's not really like popularity at our school though. Like there's like people like well known, but there's not like popularity. And but I wouldn't. I'm not well known though. So <laughs> <laughs> I know that's probably surprising. And then I'm coming back for you, Savannah. All right, Luke. Sorry. They I'm assume itching he's itching his kneecap. Is your kneecap good? I have a bug bite. <laughs> I assume that Emma is closer to Luke than anyone else. I have no clue. Um, I'm closest to her, actually. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. They are. They Should are we ask her? I, sure. We're gonna ask you. <laughs> Who are you closest to? Hallie and Luke. Hallie and Luke? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a favorite sibling? No. Oh, she's good. She doesn't answer the trick question. <laughs> she got that for me. <laughs> okay, I have two for you, Savannah. Oh, okay. I assume that Savannah has a favorite sibling. Trick question. <laughs> yeah, I'm like right next to you, you know. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I'm a lot. 
You have a lot. I think okay. it depends on the day. Yeah. yeah. It always does. Like today, it's Hannah. Oh, it's me. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> you're my favorite too today. Okay. Okay. You're the other one is that you want to stay in Arizona forever. No. 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 Where do you want to live? Well, I want to explore the world. I don't want to live in like one place. I do. You want to <laughs> live in Arizona forever? Yeah. I it's too so hot here. It is hot here. Like if you it. could live anywhere, where would you live? Hawaii. Hawaii. I like it. Cool. Brody, what about you? Do you want to stay in Arizona? Yeah. Yeah? You like it here? Yeah. What about you, Max? I don't. I probably, I want to live in Florida at one time. I want to, I want to try California. I don't know. I want to try a few places. All right. I love the beachy kind of areas. Hawaii would be cool. That's like my retirement home, though. Oh, your retirement home in Hawaii. <laughs> I love it. This one's funny, and I'm gonna put it on the screen and you will see why. So Max, Alex, and Hannah all commented on the Instagram post and said, Max is your favorite, and then Alex said, Alex is your favorite, and then Hannah said, I assume Hannah is your favorite. But we already know. They're all the favorite. I'm, I'm, I'm your favorite. They're all the favorite. So am I. I'm your favorite. <laughs> okay, the kids sometimes get jealous of each other. No. 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 I feel like we do really good at like not a lot of jealousy in our house. Like, yeah, just there's not much of, jealousy. Yeah. Cause what's there to be jealous of, you know? I'm already the best. <laughs> wow! Yeah. You're gonna let him talk like that? That's so funny. <laughs> You're so funny, guys. <laughs> I assume that we all... That we are a family that loves to do fun things together. Yes, that is totally true. And they assume that you're very happy. I am very happy. And they assume that you love to sing and dance. I do like to sing and dance. <laughs> they were right with all the assumptions. They got them all right. I assume you're getting a little less strict about your kid's social media presence. That's kind of a hard one. Yes and no. Like, I do feel like we have boundaries and those kind of things, but I feel Same. like as our kids are getting older, I do trust them and that they know, like, the safety parts and how to be careful on social media. So and we're always working with them to be as safe as they can be and and yeah. We have very open conversations about social media all the time. Absolutely. You miss living in a small town. Ten percent yes. <laughs> Ten percent. I miss the weather and I yes. did like I do like miss the, the little activities and stuff that the town would do, like that community part of it. But then there was also some negatives too, so yeah. What about you guys? Do you miss a small town? I, I, I kind of do. I miss our chickens. You miss the That's chickens? The miss. Yeah. Aww, you used to take care of the chickens all the time. I do miss having fresh eggs all the time. Yeah, I do too. I want to tame a bird. I want to get a pigeon, tame it, and like feed it every time I come oh. back to the house. Okay, so we assume that Lucas wants to tame, tame a, a bird. bird. I want to tame a bird. Okay, we're right <laughs> yeah, with that. Pigeon. That crystal always has to be the center of attention. No, yeah. that's not true. I'm actually pretty like crystal, crystal laid back. Yeah. Well, not I laid back. Speak. I guess that's not a good word. <clears throat> but I actually like the attention to be Crystal's on everybody introverted. else. Introverted. Yes, she actually likes <laughs> everybody else to have the attention, not herself. Yeah, that's uh, true. I guess it comes like that in the vlogs because I'm like talking to you guys and hanging out all day, but yeah. That you still deep down want to adopt more. I think we're pretty content. We're no. happy where we are. We want to do more. We want to do down. more? Brody wants to adopt it's more so secretly down down. I want to get at least 21. 21? What? Why 21? What's with that number? Because 21 is 21. It's fun. It's because it's, it's the fun number? No, it'd be fun. It would be fun. We do have a lot of fun. I assume all of your kids have trauma experiences from their time in foster care. Yes. I think that assumption's true. I don't think you could go through foster care and not have some type of something. Absolutely. Go on. Few more and then we're gonna go ahead and end this. The little kids don't remember their birth family and see you as the only as their only parent. I think that's true for the little kids. I would Not say for it the depends older, on the though. kids. The older kids actually remember Some of the lot. kids have some very recent memories of their biological families. So. <laughs> yes. Last and final assumption. They assume that our two new boys, we call them Bob Chaz the Builder and Bob and the Builder, <laughs> whatever their nicknames are for the vlog. That's not their actual real names. But they assume that they are twins. And the answer to that is... No. 
fault. They're not. They are not. They are actually really close in age, though. They're a little less than a year apart. Um, so I think they do call that Irish twins. Yes. So I guess kind of twins, kind of not. But they are really close in age. All right, we are going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching our assumptions. Thank you, guys. And we will see you guys next Love time. You. Bye. Just like a sea.